be able to national park. I've come to this place at the turn of April and May because it's the time when the rafts form legs in the places covered with water. Today we will watch an extraordinary performance. People drive hundreds of kilometers to watch the rafts legs. And when I look ahead, I see that today we won't be alone too. Although for the bigger part of the year these birds have subdued and well massing colors, during the mating season males look completely different. The long decorative feathers in many colors and patterns grown on them. There are so many combinations that despite the fact that in the past the prize was promised to someone who will get two equally colored individuals, no one has received this prize. The function of these feathers is impressing females, so they are very important for every male and they deserve special care. It's quite cloudy since the morning, but I heard that it will change and I think that we will spend here enough time to see the sun. So don't worry, I think that the rafts will look beautiful. Moreover, they do a real show. It happens in the small space, which is an area where males fight. Usually two dark colored males appear there and they start the fight. Are they mortal enemies? No, the rust fights are more like performances, not real battles. When these two guys take their positions and other birds come nearby, the rivals stop and they move their heads as if they're big smashed invisible balloons. After a moment, more rafts land around them. They have various colors and they take their positions on the stage. That's when everything starts. If any of the individuals leaves his place, for others it will be a challenge to fight. It's worth adding that many individuals have their favorite rivals to duels and sometimes they can forgive when other males come on the territory. The most important moment, however, is the arrival of the female. Just before it happens, the roughs intensively fight with each other, but when the female lands, males behave like gentlemen and they immediately go back on their territories, they stop and they do something like bowing. They keep their beaks close to the ground, but they are often turned back to the female. She can choose her partner now. So if we are looking for a real knight in today's world, let's look at the roughs. Two individuals fight with each other on the arena without a break. They want to impress the female and after a duel they bow in front of her and wait for her decision if she will accept them. It's a typical medieval legend which happens every year in the real world. Dear ladies, don't sigh. The males think about only one thing and when they pass their genes, when the copulation ends, they go back to their activities. Only female builds a nest and hides the eggs. Man. You might think that it's worth being an important and strong male with a territory in the middle of the arena and fighting with others to make them subordinate. It's not entirely true. The males with big dark ruff are usually the most desirable by females. But sometimes they are too absorbed in this whole performance and fights with other individuals and female copulates with a male which is further from the center of the arena. The show that the roughs give is quite complicated but really spectacular and it's worth seeing it. And the next time when we will read about the duels of medieval knights, remember that we can meet them even today.